Hello everyone, let's discuss one of the most important question which is the salary. Salary in clinical research, different domains in a clinical research like medical writing, pharmacovigilance, stat, etc. So this is one asked question to me is that what will be the salary entry level and then later in the career. One thing I wanted to share with you that always try to look in any career no matter what job you are taking is not only the starting salary but also where you can reach where this graph can take you so maybe after three years maybe after five years where you can reach that is also important question i will also give you an idea bit of comparison uh, salaries in india and in us or canada an entry level right so let's start so if you wanted to see the different functions in clinical research, they are like your operations, medical writing, pharmacovigilance, data management, and there are sub functions as well, but today we will be focusing on a higher level. So the, after you are B Pharm or if you have done masters in life sciences, there are a number of options. For and the one of the most common job which is available to you, I think I, which is easier also to take in, clinical research coordinator. Now this job is available even in the smaller cities. So you can also make a list of all the key research in your area and then personally can go visit there and apply because sometimes they do not post on uh, the job portals. So this salary range for CRC is somewhere from 25 to 35,000. There are, uh, you know, organization who are even paying 40,000 per month, but this is the higher level range. I have checked with number of people, smaller cities, little lesser on site, bigger cities, higher on the site. And now let this is on the site on hospital type. Let's move into the uh, your corporate organization like contract research organization. What are entry level jobs in the operation? It is CT, clinical trial assistant or trial master file specialist or ETMF, electronic trial master file specialist, even a document specialist. So these are the different names of entry level jobs. And here the package is also better like between four to six, four lakh to six lakh per annum. And some organization even pay higher like 6.5 to ETMF specialist. So another trend I have seen that maybe there are uh, folks who have worked like three, four months or six months as a CRC and then they move to these rules because they gain some experience. So that's the one transition is good to notice. Whereas CRC jobs in US, they pay somewhere around $45,000 to $60,000 per annum per year and that depends on the city. And the interesting trend here is that in US or you know Canada other countries you need not to have a uh, graduation or post graduation degree to work as a CRC you know. So even if you have some skilled based course you are good to work in these roles and people work for years as a CRC not like uh, the trend in India like we switch quickly from CRC job to other higher jobs like that's the difference they are people stay for long I know someone ex one who provides skilled uh, training in US I'll try to uh, you know have one call with her and then we can share that knowledge as well with you now coming to the another job role which is very much loved is pharmacovigilance it's very closer to the uh, pharmacy student and makes sense as well because you have a lot of drug knowledge, you know, their classification and the mechanism and everything. And that's why maybe so dear to you. Uh, the pharmacovigilance job is also, you know, there is another thing that uh, number of opportunities out of all the four functions in a clinical research are the highest in a pharmacovigilance, uh, you know. So you will be seeing even IT company like TCS, Wipro, they also have a pharmacovigilance process. Now the salaries here range between 3.5 to you know 5.5 that's the range you know to start as a pharmacovigilance associate. However if there are interns some companies they are also hiring interns they pay little lesser on this for pharmacovigilance associate. Another function is a medical writing. Me medical writing is you know lot depends on the skills you know. So here the salary range is is higher comparison to pharmacovigilance 
to CRC. It's like even it goes to 4 to 7 lakh this per year in India. This is the range. Even in the US, this range is higher, like 60,000 to 80,000 per year. Mm -hmm. What I have noticed is that in India, especially the medical writers who work in a contract research organization or pharma company, they are coming from a varied experience. Like maybe someone has is already, you know, postdoc research fellow or one has worked as a CRC or one has worked as a pharmacovigilance associate and then they are transitioning to this role. Similarly, data management. Data management their range is almost similar like 3.5 to 5.5 but there is also another uh, you know sub variation in fire data management if you are coming from a stat background uh, statisticians are quite in demand you know maybe you have done SAS programming or MSc in statics that is quite in demand and their salary pay is much much better than the you know just being a data associate data management associate is like it goes up to eight and nine as well uh, because I have done a lot of research on these roles I'm just trying to think if I'm not missing uh, on any role or any salary now talking about the growth you know so in operations what you can do you may be started as a document specialist TMS specialist where you can reach in five years I just wanted to give you an idea you can reach within five years like project manager if you are in operations mm -hmm. project manager study manager site manager the options are quite many and once you are here the package is much much better like 15 to 20 lakh per annum but here that also depend lot on your skills you know how much skills you have gained and how much progress you have made in your career medical writing definitely you know you can you are starting as a medical writing then senior medical writer and then principal medical writer even if you don't want to be a project manager I have seen many people they don't want to step uh, step up as a project manager what wanted to work as a writer only then they, that also pays you very well like I know few medical writers senior medical writer whose package is like even above 20 lakh per uh, year as a senior medical writer right so your graph will be like this salary number of years experience as going up your salary is also going up and these are the career for lifelong it's not like you have worked for two years and then you have to think about another job you know so it's not like that internally you can also make a switch like maybe you started as a pharmacovigilance associate then go to medical writing or anything I have seen people are changing so many times because you get bored right and one function I forget to talk about is regulatory you know regulatory so in a regulatory also they pays you good like range four to six right and here is a one another opportunity which I like the most is is that you can also work at DCGI you know you can also have an opportunity to work with the regulators our DCGI also sometimes they you have to be you know stay active on their website they also sometimes post many jobs like regulatory affair associate that's that's excellent job it's like on a contractual base but uh, you know uh, but it is nice very nice experience once you have that experience you can uh, you know further pursue your career in a corporate organization like similarly if you you know as a pharmacovigilance associate within three year or four year you can aim to be a become or you know senior scientist that is the name of a position you know as a senior medical writer in um, pharmacovigilance is a senior scientist or scientist or consultant you know so these are the senior position and here definitely the opportunity to earn and grow is much much better you know even you can lead a process also you can be a pharmacovigilance project manager so these are the different rules once you are at a senior level then you are having an options like either you can work in a pharma company itself or a contract research organization right and initially I have seen most of people what they try they aim to get an experience in a contract research organization you know so that they will be having a wider experience and then later switching to some pharma company so that 
they can have a lot of experience and then they can build their skills so if i am looking on the salary part of the uh, cr professions you know clinical research professionals it's good it is competent to the market right and the best thing is that on a job you learn a lot like i learned my a writing skills on a job only because you get so many trainings so once you are in once you are in the field i'll say that keep on knocking the door once you are in the field you have a plenty of opportunity to grow because you are given so many trainings and the most importantly your job has an impact you know because of your work some drug is coming to market i mean that's the best feeling you know you are working for the patient so that's the awesome feeling to have so i hope this knowledge this knowledge sharing session is helpful for you uh, i tried my level best and you can leave your suggestions and comment in you know description box as well and uh, if you wanted to learn more about the clinical research there are there is a link of my book in the description you can refer that uh, if you wanted to know more about different things leave a comment or suggestion for us thank you so much